ramen, a Japanese staple that's now popular worldwide. Each region has its own vision, shifting with the times while staying true to the original. Welcome to Japan, the land of ramen. We explore the northern expanses of Hokkaido in search of ramen. Sapporo, Hakodate, Asahikawa, each place with its own version. Over the next two episodes, we'll uncover just what makes them so deliciously different. Hokkaido's largest city, Sapporo, with a population of nearly 2 million. With temperatures regularly below freezing, winters in this northern city are bitter cold. And to warm you up in the cold, nothing beats ramen. With an astonishing over 1,000 shops, it is one of the most competitive markets in Japan. Just 17 ramen shops line this small alleyway, but it sees over 2,000 customers a day. The ramen everybody's here for <laughs> the traditional Japanese seasoning, miso. Made mainly with soy and grain, it's fermented and essential to Japanese cooking. The shop we're heading towards now has been making miso ramen since 1964. Let's see what makes Sapporo ramen so special. Dashi ingredients vary from shop to shop, but everything goes in the wok. Stir fried vegetables, meat, and miso join forces in an umami explosion. For Hokkaido ramen, even the soup comes from the wok. The perfect noodles for all that miso flavor. Characteristically thick with a pronounced curl. The shop started by the man who served the first ever bowl of miso ramen is still in business today. Inheriting the shop from his father, the second generation owner is Omiya Hideo, age 80. His early childhood image of his father is closely linked with post-war Sapporo. 
来て食のない人たちがずらーっとね屋台をやってたんですよ200軒ぐらいあったのねその中でラーメン屋が2軒3軒あるんだけどそこだけえらい人が並んでそれ見て親父はそれこそ23日習っただけでもうすぐラーメン屋にやったらお客さんが僕も来るんですよね His father, Morito, was only 26 at the end of the Second World War. Soon after, he opened a food stall. Back then, ramen in Sapporo wasn't miso, but shoyu style. For Hideo, talking about the ramen they used to eat in the old days calls to mind the time of post war scarcity. <laughs> それでもみんなはあの飢えてたから当時ただラーメンっていうだけでおおごちそうだっていう。In search of a way to make his ramen more appealing, the answer Morito came up with was miso. 味噌ってのは世界に誇る調味料でありながら栄養食発酵食品体にも生きていくためにも。Along with miso, he added nutritious vegetables like bean sprouts, onions, and garlic. And mixing in ground meat, he stir fried it all in a wok. この一皿で全部栄養補給を体に生きるために必要なものが入っている素材でなければならんっていう Adding classic dashi soup stock a new miso flavored broth never before seen in Japan was created There was apparently one more reason that he decided to use the wok 野菜を肉を炒めた時に火をバーッとあげる演出っていうのは面白いんじゃないかって見せるっていうね完全にショーでしょうねみんなに「おおおお」っつってみんな「熱いなお前んとこのラーメンは」っていうふうになってくるね In search of the perfect noodles Morito turned to Nishiyama Takayuki 兄貴と弟のようなそんな関係でもって。2人でその札幌の力強いも特徴のあるラーメンこれを作っていきたいなというようなことを2人でいつも話し合いをされていたようですね。So、says Nishiyama's son, Takashi. 透明感のあるプリップリで腹持ちのいい自分の理想の麺を作ってくれんか。At the time, Nishiyama was working at another shop making noodles. He thought of the classic Japanese noodles known as udon. Made with wheat flour, udon noodles are thick with a firm springy texture. Adapting the method used for making udon, he made ramen. Udon なんかは昔から麺を練って熟成で麺の塊のまま寝かせてラーメンも同じように麺を寝かせて。製法することによって足腰の強い弾力のある麺に仕上がると試行錯誤を何十回何百回何千回やってって麺を捨てるというにしますと夫婦を冷ましてる間にスープが全部起こっちゃうんですね下に同時に食べるのはどうしたらいいのかそうだなということで手もみをして麺に地雷をかけていたんですねそうして食べますとですね麺と麺の間にスープが乗るんですね The pair spent six years perfecting their creation. The first ever bowl of miso ramen in Japan. It's been 70 years, and now the city of Sapporo is synonymous with miso ramen. This man has been a fan of miso ramen since the two first created it. 
まあ、今90歳だから60年くらい前から、まあ、あの洗剤すすきので野菜引いてた頃から知ってるんだ無償に食べたくなるサンプレゼルに食べるためにわざわざ地下鉄で来たから。<笑>札幌エレメンタリースクール。It's 12:20 p.m. Finally, time for lunch. The food is served by the children themselves. Naturally, today they are serving ramen. For the children of Sapporo, ramen is special. <laughs> This third year class is in the middle of a social studies lesson. はラーメンだっていう風に誰もがやっぱり食べたことのあるものっていうのでラーメンの学習をしている。Over 90% of Sapporo schools organize student visits to a noodle plant. The plant the children go to is the one started by Nishiyama, the one who first helped Omiya to create miso ramen. At first, they sold noodles to just a few shops, but now there are over 3,500 of them. They produce 100,000 portions a day. There are 500 different recipes to choose from. The process Takayuki once did by hand is now done entirely by machine. And to give the noodles their characteristic curl, But one thing remains unchanged from the old days. They still strive to create The ideal noodles. で、私たちもその感覚で実際に食べて判断をしているところです。はい、工房を目指してますね。<笑>職人が作っているというそういう工場を作りたい。This ramen shop has used their custom-made noodles for 20 years. うちのお店に一番合う麺っていうのをやっぱり特注で作ってもらってるんで製麺会社さんがなくてはやっていけないのでやっぱり二人三脚で一緒に走ってくれるような存在だと思います札幌、The Home of Miso Ramen 70 years ago, two men set out to make a more delicious and more nutritious bowl of ramen, and their legacy continues to this day. Wouldn't you like some yourself? Come pay a visit for the best bowl of ramen you've ever had.